Here is a little question about the business from Charles in Illinois. How much negotiation do you do with the artists? What happens if you really want an artist to record on octave, but they don't like certain parts of the contract? That happens from time to time. Um, it doesn't happen every time. I feel like, well, I know our contract is very artist friendly. Um, for those of you that don't know, my album uh, from my band Clandestine Amigo was octave second release. So I was recruited to make an album um, before I was recruited to work for Octave as their director. And I had that contract read over um, by a lawyer, by my CPA, um, and by one of my old music business prof professors. He's not old. If you're watching this, you're not old. You're just no longer my professor. <laughs> so um, it's a very artist-friendly contract is what I'm trying to say. Um, and, and I'm very proud to offer it. Every once in a while, we do have an artist um, that wants something very specific. And usually it has to do with the rights of the masters. And we just, we just negotiate. We just talk about it until, until we come to an agreement. Um, there, there's one artist that sync licensing for them was extremely important. And they needed to make sure, double sure, triple sure, that they were going to be able to use their, their own music for sync licensing. So an interesting thing about that particular license is YouTube, anything on here that has music, that's considered sync licensing. Sync licensing is for, it, it's synced up. So it's television, movies, and YouTube, you know, videos. So if somebody isn't able to use their music for sync licensing, that means they can't make YouTube videos of their own song, which kind of puts a damper on their marketing. Octave also needs to be able to sync license because as you know, if you've watched our Octave channel, we put out videos to let you know about the artists and albums and those videos use music from the albums. So, both parties need a sync license. So that's just an example of the kind of thing that might be in the contract that an artist wants to pick apart and make sure that they, you know, they know their rights. So we, we, do, we do treat each artist um, as the individual that they are and try to accommodate as much as makes sense for us and um, try, and, try and at least meet them in the middle. You know, if we need to compromise, we do that. But we do a fair amount of negotiation. Um, there have been, there has been one artist that we felt like was important enough um, to change almost our whole contract <laughs> for them because we really believe in them and love their music and wanted to have the opportunity to have them in our studio. We'll actually be recording with that artist in the fall. Um, but it, it is, it's really a person to person kind of negotiation. So hopefully that answered your question. Thank you for writing in. And uh, if anybody else has questions, drop them in the comments. You know what to do. Thanks. Mm -hmm.